Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 7 episode 17 reaction So the previous episode um, we got to see um, Himiko has uh, sent obviously like sent the clones to um, Shigaraki's place here uh, you know against Hawks as well so you know like a lot of Twice's clones are just there Ochako and um, Suyu also came here through the um, little walk portal uh, and we met up with Jiro and as well and Sukiyomi and uh, you know we are kind of trying to get and talk with Himiko and fight against her I think that's what's going to happen now uh, while all of that is happening we also had the confrontation with all for one Hawks stopped him from getting uh, you know to um, Shigaraki and uh, you know they also like you know like Hawks also told um, all for uh, Endeavor to deal with Davi you know so that's what's having o happening over there and then finally in Shigaraki's situation um, yeah Shigaraki we had um, Gentle and Lady Nagant come in by the end of it and help us stop Shigaraki from destroying the whole place and uh, you know now yeah now I don't know Deku probably have a little bit of time to I don't know what he's going to do but hopefully Hideki was able to take, take up from here and uh, you know like deal with him um, so let's see what happens in today's episode um, let us begin I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's begin okay here's the countdown three two one go Oh, this is what happened before Lady Nagant went. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? I forgot. Deadlock or something? Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Nice. Oh, she shot. She shot two times. Wait. Oh God. Hmm. Oh, nice! Oh, both the hands are gone. All right, perfect. Yes, nice. Okay, don't let him touch anything. Yep. Yep. We need to move somewhere else. Hmm. <clears throat>
uh, is gentle and lady nagant and were, were they there in the opening up until now i don't think so they added them after this yeah <laughs> what the fuck is that face? Yeah, you you mad? <laughs> you triggered? <laughs> now, now Shigrak is like, oh my god, bro. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he himself did it. Inside out. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, his his original. Damn. Oh! Connected to that house, so like that means literally everything. Because you know, hopes. Hmm. Oh, gentle. Leviation program. Levitation open. Okay. Yeah. No, he knows. He he saw that, didn't he? Yeah. What the? Oh! Hey! <laughs> Bruh! Where did they come from? Yeah! Oh my god, these guys. Okay, I think you got enough of your footage. Oh boy. Right. Yeah, but I I think you need to take care of your own safety as well. 
along with that. So, oh, there you go, the levitation programs. Oh wait, she hacked. <laughs> yeah. No, no, she hacked hacked it. I think. Hmm. Right. Oh, is she going to like broadcast it to everyone? I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go, nice. Kurokin is so confused. He's like, <laughs> what am I doing here? Is it Alpha One or is it Shigaraki? Oh boy. Oh damn. Oh. Oh. Oh wait. That's that's Shirakuma or is it Kurogiri? Because a part of him came out. For a moment, he came out, Shirakumo, so... Alright. Gunga Villa, okay. <sighs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it takes some growth factor I was done with. Bro, just <laughs> Yeah, you think so? Right. Oh, Hawks is coming in. Not Hawks, sorry, um, Sukum. Oh, whoa, what the hell was that? What? Okay, what is going on? What? What the hell? Oh! This girl, what was her name? Gammy or something? I forgot. Oh! Oh, these guys, uh, the other school, I forgot the name. Yeah, this guy. Shiketsu High, high School, okay. Wait, <laughs> what were they doing up until now? That's my question. Okay. Seiji. Inasa, you're okay. Yeah, yeah, that's their names. Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn. 
Mm. Oh, yeah, that's Oh boy. What in the Oh. Right. Ye Yeah, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh, boy. In the prison of one. Oh damn. Oh my god, his face. Mm. <laughs> You're the one to talk. <laughs> it has been adding the fire to keep the light burning. Oh no, I feel like this that would be his mistake. Oh, Kurogiri! That's Kurogiri, isn't it? No, wait! No, that's Sukuyomi! Oh my god, yeah, this thing! Yeah, his, the, uh, the shadow thing that he has. The dark loss. Yeah, it's going to, it's helping him increase his power. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Even if he touches the dark shadow, it won't, nothing will happen. Right. So like Endeavor's flame, his dark shadow will also not be affected. Okay. Oh, yo, 
Oh my god, he, he <laughs> broke, broke his hand. Or whatever the thing he was bringing out. I from out I thought that was Kurogiri because you know they look all kind of the same with the yellow eyes. But yeah, it wouldn't make sense to be Kurogiri. Like you know, Kurogiri is still kind of in the confusion state. He's like, oh, who should I, who should I protect? All for one or Shigaraki? What's happening? <laughs> right. Oh, it's still something. What? What? The, what is happening? Right. Yeah, it's as you said, it's not worst or is it the best? So it's a, you still have a chance. Oh damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That would be crazy. Worth of those. True. True. So she can only use Ochako's. Yeah. Only twice? Yeah. Uh, Ochako, maybe Suyu? And to a second to emotions. Right. Oh, yeah. So she's saying, like, um, there's a possibility she might start. Things might suddenly change and she will be able to use other squirts. Okay. Oh, she herself is confused. She's like, what? Interesting. So. Wait. Wait, 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 what? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 what did she say? Okay, 
okay yeah that was today's episode okay let me let me go back a little bit i looked i like tomura and okay toya as well but can't i use the quirks like and can jins or ochakos yeah she's saying she can use jins quirks ochakos as well obviously i tried before this battle and i couldn't even though i love them i should like them enough Um, even though Jin could do it. Why can't I become Jin? Okay, I'm a bit confused here. Like, I think like there's a little bit of a translation, like kind of you know in the end she's talking about like obviously the first part i understand what she's saying she's like oh even though i like you know like um dabi and you know like uh, Sh uh shimura why can i use why can i not use their quirks unlike the way i can use ochako and uh, jin's quirks like that i can understand obviously we can see she's using you know like the clones and everything and then she says why can i not become jin Okay, I don't understand that part though. Is it more of a... Hmm. Why can't I become Jin? Okay, you know what? Next episode, I think I'll get... Maybe I'll get my answer. But... Yeah, that part kind of confused me a little bit. Why can't I become Jin? Like, didn't she just say that she, she can use... Obviously, we can see it. She is using his power. Quirk. But I'm guessing it's kind of different. What she means by I cannot become Jin and I cannot use their quirk, that's both are different. Like, maybe... Hmm. Right, you know what, let's wait, I'll, I, I maybe we'll get more, you know, like, elaboration in the next episode. Um, either way, yeah, that was today's episode. So today's episode, a um, few things happened, not much, but, you know, first and foremost, uh, the big thing was, like, obviously Lady Narant helping us, and, uh, you know, Deku taking that opportunity to, like, take out Shigaraki in a, in a distance, and, you know, yeah, that whole thing. Uh, then we get to see... Oh, another big thing happened where Shigaraki used his, um, you know, when Alpha One was trying to take over him, he was like, nope, you ain't going anywhere now. You know, like I've always kept my other self, my core self kind of hidden inside because of this day. You know, I am not going to let you manipulate, uh, like control me anymore, you know, because what he wants is something kind of different from what Alpha One wants, as he says. He wants the destruction of everything that is directly or I guess indirectly related to his house or that family, you know, his own family. Uh, I guess that makes sense. So obviously what is involved or what is connected with that house is obviously his parents who he already, you know, killed. Then um, his grandma, um, who was obviously Nana Shimura, who also died. And I'm guessing anyone connected to Nana Shimura. So basically that is why she's, he's trying to take out the hero society. Because technically if you think about it like that. Nana Shimura is, is, is like, you know, connected with all, all Might. And All Might is connected with the hero society. So the hero society as a whole. Maybe in that way. That is why he wants to take, out, take it completely out. So you know. So I'm guessing his, you know, like his goal isn't really destruction of everything. But anything related to him and his family, directly or indirectly, which is very, you know, which is a very big, you know, like thing because his house, his family is directly connected to the, to All Might and All Might is like a symbol of peace, which he represents all the heroes. So in that sense, I guess he wants to take out all the heroes as well. That is why. So after probably doing that, after probably destroying the hero society, everything he 
maybe he'll stop i don't know <laughs> but then what else will be left then by then you know so obviously we cannot let that happen so that's what he says now that was that and then we also had um the other school come in to help now i'm i'm thinking where were they up until now did they mention it where they were up until now wait a minute wait a minute yeah cami comes in and she used her illusion to you know if that hottie got put on ice it would have been like such a doubt okay <laughs> okay we were sent as non-aggressive defense force to receive the evacuees from ua i you know there's some a few things really that really confuses me about this like okay like so they were sent here as non-aggressive defense force. like why were they here not here up until now the whole like if we don't stop all for one whole of japan will go down then the rest of the world now i can understand the rest of the world because of the political politics and other stuff like you know a few of the countries are thinking about carrying favor with all all for one you know and then we had that reporter who directly leaked that in live television and now all the higher ups are kind of in a pinch they're like oh my god what now the public will be you know like yeah so that that whole thing happened i can understand that you know that is why they're not sending people to help us out and you know all of that nonsense is going on over there those political you know like stuff and you know yeah i can understand that but here in japan i think shouldn't the whole the japan as a whole like every single like organization that can do something about this situation should help out shouldn't they because whole of japan is in danger like there's no point in like keeping your like you know like the people who can help in this situation directly keeping them as reserves there's no point in that is is there so they're saying we were sent as non-aggressive defense force to receive the evacuees from ua i can understand that you know they are here technically they're not going to directly help us but they're going to help out the evacuees and you know and in that process maybe you know a few of them will help us fight as well but my question is why now where were they here why weren't they here up until now i am i missing something did they mention anything about this and i just forgot or didn't pay attention or they they actually send them now after like half of the battle is over and everyone's almost dying now these like 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 what like and another thing i can understand the prisoners you know gentle and uh, you know nagant they probably you know like had a lot of procedures people were deliberating whether they should let them go or not because they technically criminals and all that that's why it took them a long time to come and help us out makes sense this doesn't make sense or maybe i'm missing something maybe they already mentioned it and i i just didn't remember because i feel like as soon as we started working like ua started fighting this school should have also been with us shouldn't they like what were they doing up until now i'm 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 very curious about this like what's happening like the whole whole of japan is in danger and you guys are coming out now like i'm glad that they came because obviously like they needed the help but my question is why after so long <laughs> like you know like that's the thing anyways that's that you know but like i said thank god they're here because you know they were able to help a little bit after that um you know like kami helped save hawks and then we had a few others also like helping out and everything yeah so there you go that's what's happening over there also we get to see sukuyomi using his um, dark shadow and uh, they kind of explain this whole situation as obviously like all for one he if he touches endeavor's flames he, he cannot take his power in that case i'm guessing i'm guessing that's why sukiyomi and everyone deduce that if all for one comes in contact with sukiyomi's shadow it won't work either that is why he's a perfect person to go and directly come in contact with all, you know all for one and that's why when the whole like you know like cloud and everything was this like dark getting dark you know um they use sukiyomi's dark shadow which is way more powerful now 
because of the darkness. Ah. And he, they used him to directly attack all for one. So yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know, but uh, you know, like I, I have, like I said, I have that one big question: Where was the other school up until now? Why after like now, like after like half of the people are just like injured and like everything is almost over? Like yeah, there you go. Anyway, that was that. And now we have, after that, we have the whole um, uh, Himiko, like, thinking about what is going on with her quirk. Because, you know, like, and obviously Ochako and uh, uh, Uraraka, all of them deduce that they technically cannot, she technically cannot use anyone's quirk. She needs to like them at a certain degree. So, you know, and what Suyu is fearing is that obviously even if she cannot use the quirks now, who knows what's going to happen later. Like, if she starts liking any of these characters, like she likes Ochako and Twice, for example, Shigaraki, for example, then that will be crazy. Because she can, that will mean that she can use Shigaraki's quirks. That will be catastrophic. Everything will just, you know. So, here we go. The clones made from twice as double can use their quirks. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm misunderstanding it here. Wait a minute, let me read this whole part. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Um, the clones made from twice as double can use... Oh, no, yeah, twice as... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I was, uh, I was mixing it up. No, wait. No, 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 no. No, no. No, twice as... Okay, oh my god, this is confusing me. Twice as clones are, you know, like, you know, twice as clones. But Himiko's power can make you, like, whoever she becomes, she can use their quirks now. After uh, she got the, the evolution that she got, she got that upgrade in the, in the whole... Uh, you know that that villain arc that we had in season five or was it season six? I don't remember. You know after that whole arc, you know everyone's power got a boost, and Himiko's boosted power was basically up until now she could only become that person, but now she can become that person and make use of the quirk. So in that sense, Twice's I think as far as I can remember, Twice's upgrade was that she can make he can make a lot more clones. Wasn't that what his upgrade work was? Or was there something else? I'm forgetting. It's been a while I've watched season 5 or 6, uh, wherever this part was shown. So in that sense, if Himiko becomes twice, that means he can, she can, you know, use, make use of twice as quirk and make clones of her. So if she makes clones of her and twice, that would mean these clones can also make use of the individual quirks. So I guess that is why uh, Suyu is thinking, in case she gets to know Shigaraki's quirk or somehow is able to use Shigaraki's quirk or someone else's quirk, like Dabi or someone who is strong, then she can make use of Twice's quirk to make a lot of clones and she can make each and in, like, you know, every individual clone use like the other like you know characters quirks like Shigaraki's quirks and stuff so she can mix and match the different you know people within her and it'll be a like a devastating like result there we go the clones made from twice as double can use their quirks but based on what Uravity was told Himiko cannot use the quirks of those she transforms into unless she likes them yeah that's why she could use Ozako's quirk and Twice's quirk. Hmm. It could be a matter of compatibility. If the doubles she... No. If the doubles after she uses transform. Wait. If the doubles after she uses transform also have that limitation on them. then it could mean that she doesn't like Shigaraki and the others. 
enough to use her quirks yes yeah, so the only character she likes enough is twice that's why she can use twice as quirk and then otaku as well i could be completely off but in this extreme situation it will be strange for the tables to be turned on a second duty motion yeah so she's fearing the fact that if she just in some way you know way she starts liking shigaraki enough to be comparable to otaku or um uh you know like twice then that will be disastrous because that would mean she can use his quirks and if she can use shigaraki's quirks she can make use of her clones to use shigaraki's quirks so there'll be million and millions of shigaraki running around right in order to keep that from happening you need to hurry up and find the real one okay yeah there you go so yeah there you go that's what like you know she's saying and even in the end, you can see like Himiko also thinks that why am I not able to, you know, even though I like Tomura and Toya too, why can't I use their quirks like I can Jin's or Ochako's? Yeah, like all of these parts I understand, but that final section where she says, why can I be not become Jin? I don't understand that part. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was today's episode um all right and uh, there you go okay so yeah that was today's episode and uh, i don't know what's happen going to happen now like you know like yeah this is right all for one is like you know like i don't know what like all, all for one did get like hit by Tsukuyomi. so we're probably we will we will be able to hold that part um shigaraki is fighting you know deku so that's that and now himiko is in the verge of you know like he's kind of thinking like why can i not use their quirks and you know like stuff like that okay so yeah now obviously like i guess it kind of makes sense like you know even though she likes <clears throat> shigaraki and uh you know dabi and all of them she doesn't like them enough i guess maybe you know like she she is like as much closely she got to know twice and ochako she could yeah because i guess she she's obviously she also said that she likes suyu as well but i don't think she can use suyu's quirks can she i don't think so um so there is like a degree i guess like at a certain level like if her affection for that particular character re like goes above that certain level then she can use. in an interesting way you can probably say that she doesn't like deku enough as well because up until now we shot that thought that she likes deku but you know she never was able to use deku square can oh but i guess uh, maybe it's because all for once is like a different uh, sorry uh, one follows is like a different type of a quirk maybe that's why it's like a culminate like you know it's like a collection of a lot of generations maybe that's why she couldn't use the quirk or it could just plain be like yeah it's like deku is also probably in the same category or was i would say not now probably because you know like now she has completely closed off her heart but she he was also in the same level or category as shigaraki and dabi because she has multiple times mentioned she likes shigaraki and dabi as well but as we can see she cannot use their quirks um but she can use twice and ochako's quirk so deku was probably in the same category as that as well she liked him but she didn't like him enough to use his quirks however ochako's situation i guess she had a lot of close encounters with ochako and in a way i guess she um or i guess you can say there could be another like uh factor contributing here maybe because she actually became ochako she i don't know you know what i guess that's why is it that's is it that is that why this because wait she she did she became ochako once i remember that obviously I, i'm trying to remember if she became twice before like you know like actually become him did did she do that i think she did that didn't she yeah however did she ever become dabi or shigaraki i don't think she did did she 
you know what? Oh my god! Like the like the thing is like this show has been going on for like eight years or something like anime. So many things I don't I cannot recall that has happened maybe in season two or season three. I've completely forgotten. So I cannot remember if that ever happened. So I cannot like properly think of the reason. Like, but one thing I'm pretty sure like she wanted to be like you know like wanted to know Deku more. That is why she took in Ochako's blood. I remember that and. She, she became Ochako and then she started liking Ochako as well, I think. And she became him and she, you know, to understand Deku, she, she tried to become someone that Deku likes, that is Ochako. But in the process, she started liking Ochako as well. But in that sense, she was the closest to Ochako and she had the maximum encounter with her as well. If you remember, you know, like later on as well, she directly came and confronted Ochako and they had that whole conversation and everything, a lot of things. So. I, you know similar to that she also had like the maximum um contact and you know like conversations with twice amongst out of all the other villains that she you know she she had contact with twice was the one who she talked the most with and had contact with most and also the fact that she after his death that probably hit her so hard that she you know that you know affected her so she she could use twice's works but she couldn't use Dabi and Shigaraki's quirk because she didn't like them enough. Similar with that, she cannot use Deku's quirk, but she can use Ojako's quirk. So, you know, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's just wait. I think we'll get our answers um, little by little because there's still a few things about her quirks that is not really clear. So, you know, maybe we'll get more explanation on that later. Right, and there you go. That was today's episode. Wait, where was I? Um... Oh yeah, there you go, that was it. Okay, so yeah, let me just, like talk about this episode scene by scene now. Um, right, so today's episode, we begin with Lady Nagant, um, you know, that part where Lady Nagant was going to help Deku, and uh, this guy, I forgot his name. I think his name was, was his name Deadlock or something like that? I, wait a minute. Oh, let me check. Like, I remember he kind of locks things. No, dead bolt. Yeah, dead bolt. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Mm, yeah, so dead bolt. Hmm. So he comes in and, uh, you know, the doctor was like, oh, Lady Nagant, you don't, you know, sh you shouldn't go. You're not in any possible way you can help them. But dead bolt comes in and he's like, yeah, like, you know, go ahead um, and gives him the, gives her the location and everything, the GPS and tells her that maybe you can do something. So go ahead and help. So Lady Naran goes in and from a distance, she, you know, uses her all to shoot <clears throat> uh, Shigaraki, not only after, you know, once, but twice after that, she tries again, you know, and she, she she's like, yeah, like they have given me this chance and I'm going to make full use of it. And yeah, but that was it. Then she kind of falls unconscious, I guess. Either way, that was enough. Deku immediately grabs Shigaraki, like grabs his hand, like ties them up and rushes out of that like flying coffin. Because obviously if, she, if they stay there, that'll be dangerous. So she, he just rushes out. And uh, yeah, there you go. That was that. And then after that, we see all for one is just having a mental breakdown. He's, he's, he's like... Like at first he's like making fun of Lady Nagan, but then Shigaraki comes out and she's like, he's like, bruh, you ain't controlling me anymore. <laughs> like sit down. Um, yeah, and uh, you can see Shigaraki himself like kind of mentions that, yeah, I know what you did. You literally took advantage of my, or not only mine, but all the other villains, um, our complexes, our, you know, like parts where we were down and manipulated us and controlled us into you know making use of for yourself uh, i know that obviously you know but i especially because i knew that i kept myself away tucked in into a core part of me and uh, yes now i am ready so he his his that part comes out and i guess all for one is not in control of shigaraki anymore in that sense yeah so yeah that's what happens 
and Shigaraki kind of mentions that what I want is the destruction of everything connected to that house. So, like I said, I guess everything connected to that house means like everything. Like his his family is dead, but you know people connected with his family as well. Like all all might and all might people all might is connected with all might is directly connected with the hero society. So in that sense, I guess he wants to destroy the whole hero society in itself. Um, right. There you go. And then we see gentle, you know, uh, kind of still holding the fortress, the, the, the flying coffin. But he's like, ah, I cannot do it anymore. I'm not strong enough. But La Brava is like, don't worry, I'm sending the like levitation programs. <laughs> and you can see gentle was thinking like, you know what? Here, there's nowhere in here. You know, nobody will be criticizing me or praising me because of this. So, you know, like, yeah, this is just me and my inner self over here. But then he sees like there was like a few of the business class students, journalist students, kind of taking the footage, and he's like, "What the hell are you guys doing? Like, go back! You you guys are in danger." But they're like, "No, we won't go back. This is our duty." And I can understand what they're coming from because basically what they're saying is that if I we don't take the footage and show the world what has happened, people can you know make narratives like without the truth. They can say stuff and, you know, try to tarnish the hero's reputation. Some bad people, maybe, you know. But if we have the footage, you know, and if we show the world that, that oh, this is what happened, people won't be able to do that. So in a way, they are, I guess you could say, thinking about the world after, whatever's happening now, after everything becomes okay, if everything becomes okay, after that, they, it's not over yet. They will have to rebuild, you know end of the war isn't the end after the war's end you know if you win you have to get back up again and to get back up a lot of things you know like needs to be done and as they say it's easy to destroy but it's difficult to build up so for the future society after this war they will need this footage because who knows some people might suddenly start saying that oh the heroes didn't really do anything you know like, yeah, because, you know, I'm, I, I've said this before, I hate the people in this world. In, in My Hero Academia, the citizens, are, I feel like they're the worst part of this show. Like, they're absolute idiots, dummies. What else can I say? They, like, you know, they're, they're, they're completely, like, they don't have a brain. Or they have been so much, they're living so much in, like, you know, peace and prosperity that things have gotten to their head. Like, they have become selfish. They've become extremely like, you know, like, what can I say? Like, they, they, I, I don't like the people here, the people that live in this world. So I can easily imagine some people being a complete ass and like making some false narratives about what has happened. And, you know, like acting all high and mighty and making society unpeaceful again. In, in the, you know, like making the peace go away and start like making problems. I can see that happening. So... For that type of a situation, you know, these people are taking the photos, taking the footages and making sure that the truth goes to everyone so that no one can say that, oh, the heroes did nothing, you know, or yeah, the hero's not worthy enough, you know, then we, we will have the truth in front of us. I can understand that, you know, they are doing this for the future, the future that might come if we win. If we don't win, then that's something else, I guess. <laughs> yeah, then that's over. But no, if we win, um, then after that, the society that will need to be, be built up again, they, this will help in that. I can, I can understand that. But obviously, as Gentle says, you guys are also in danger here. So, so you know, but they're like, no, we, we, are, we are professionals here. So we are taking this. Either way, that was that. And, you know, like, and La Brava was like, don't worry, I have sent the uh, levitation programs, which helps Gentle a little bit. You know, and not only that, La Brava also makes sure that the footage, she hacks the footage, makes sure it gets live broadcasted. Because obviously, she would want everyone to know the good part of Gentle. And I guess in a way, if you think about it, Gentle was falsely accused back, you know, then. So now, this footage will probably help people understand him better. And not just dismiss him as just a villain. Yeah. Either way, that was that. And uh, yeah, so everything's okay over there. Now we get to see um, Alpha One trying to go towards Shigaraki again. 
but a hawk stops him. Yeah, and <laughs> here you can see Alpha One. I don't know what he tries to do. He tries to grab him or something. I don't know. And then suddenly Hawks becomes this kind of a vortex and just vanishes. So Sukuyomi was like, "What the hell is happening?" And then he looks at Hawks and he sees like Hawks is like saying weird stuff to him. <laughs> and then we realize what's happening is actually Gami. Gami comes in and Gami is using her quirk to show those hallucinations so all for one fall for fell for that you know that's why he couldn't attack hawks properly and hawks was safe so technically cami and the other guy that protected him saved him um so yeah and as we can see finally the other school is here like i said i still don't understand why they took so long like like i can like i said i can understand the other countries they have their own political reasons and stuff that's going on the, the criminals, I can also understand people pr probably like deliberating whether they should send them or not, Gentle and Nagant, so that they, it took a bit while for them to come. But why the school, who, this, this school, isn't this school, what is the name of the school? Shiketsu High, yeah. Isn't Shiketsu High like the second, like most influential school after UA? Where were they up until now? Like, I, we didn't see them anywhere. They weren't in, um, the hospital they weren't even like they weren't anywhere like so like now i think like half of the battle is already over like so many people got injured so many people almost died and they're coming in now like what's going on like they're also in japan aren't they so i don't think it's like i don't understand that part maybe they were doing something else maybe doing they were doing some evacuating work or something but i feel like even if that was the case shouldn't they just send at least their top heroes to help and aid us in this situation top heroes like for example cami and that other guy you know the the strongest one the one who makes wins these guys should be with us here from the very beginning shouldn't they like like the other heroes can help out with the other stuff that they need to do but at least send the strongest heroes to our side because technically the whole of japan is in danger the whole of the world is in danger but like i said i the, the rest of the world they have their own political problems and they're just you know like going back and forth back and forth whether should we help japan whether, whether we should not help japan this and that so just scratch that out but Japan's danger definitely everyone in Japan every person every organization should be helping out at the same time. so you know I'm I'm just not really sure what why they took so long you know this I feel like they should have sent the top heroes at least from the very beginning you, you know but anyways better late than never I guess so you know they came in and they helped us out or they're helping us out now Right, and taking this opportunity, and this girl, one of the pussycats, I forgot her name, she, like, as we can see, so, she, you can see her smile over here, so she probably decided here, like, like this was a chance for her to make use of Sukuyami. So, she, as we saw later, she made, like, a little mud thing to probably hide Sukuyomi so that she could, he could go close to all for one, then make use of his shadow power. You know, there you go then that was that um right but anyways after that you can see all all for one is still bragging and everything and he's like oh like you guys cannot do anything this and that yeah yeah and then all for one starts blabbering about back in the days you know what it was you know like one of those <laughs> like you're like you're <laughs> like yeah, how you're like you know the the people from the older generations how they how they say stuff like you know back in the days we used to do this we used to do that and he's also doing that here he's like you know back in the days <laughs> when when things were not like this you know everything was covered in darkness and we were in control of everything and i'm like yeah yeah whatever <laughs> Here we go. I, you know what? I'm not going to repeat any of this because he just keeps like, you know, all for one. He, he loves to just boast and brag about himself and give like crazy ass speeches. Like, bro, just stop. Nobody's listening to you anymore. Everyone you're fighting with are your, 
are your opponents. Yeah, anyways. Um, and then this guy, the wind guy, he's like, oh, we know, I know, I, I know. And that is why we are trying to stop you, you know, this and that. Okay. And then you can see hawks come and try to attack all for one. And all for one's like, oh, I don't like those eyes. Those eyes, they don't show any fear towards me. You know, how dare he? But then he's like, oh, no, but they have already lost. You know, this is just... A little bit of a you know like flicker of a flame that is just there and I need to I need to extinguish this as well and he's like he's just like you know in his own drunk in his own you know like thing but then he realizes like wait something is wrong he looks back and he sees Sukuyomi or dark shadow over there yeah and then as they explain as soon as the dark car clouds gathered, they started planning. Here we go. All Might, he said it himself. Even if he grabs End of his Flames, doesn't mean he can steal his quirk. So that's the reason why I was chosen to support Hawks and End of it, Because technically, they, like, like, the Flames and the Dark Shadow, I guess, it kind of falls in the same category. So even if he grabs the Dark Shadow or, you know, the Dark Shadow comes in contact with him, it won't work. He cannot take his quirk. So perfect opportunity to make use of his power. And the dark shadow is big, you know, especially in dark times like this when there's like not enough light. So he can stay at a long distance away from all for one, one and fight him using his dark shadow. And that is why he is here. He was chosen. And yeah, he explains how as soon as the, you know, like the, the, uh, you know, the, the clouds, they started gathering. You started to read this right after the backup from Shikatsu arrived. Yeah. And there you go. Then he punches all for one. And it ends there. You know. Either way, after that, we, in the after credit scene, we get to see what happened a few minutes later, earlier. And, you know. Yeah, and they explain how the situation was not the best or was not the worst for both sides. So technically, they're in a weird type of a situation. You know, the, the heroes are also obviously not in a good situation, but that doesn't mean it's the worst situation. Similarly, the villains are also not in a good situation, but not the worst situation as well. So they're like in the middle, both of them. So it can go either way. The, the whole thing can dro drop in either way, the good way or the bad way for either of the groups, you know. And obviously, one of the reasons was, you know, Himiko. Himiko's quirk it works in an interesting way, as we all know. That is why she, even though her quirk can be extremely broken, she is not able to use it to its full potential. Because obviously, she likes Ochako and Twice enough to use their quirks. However, she doesn't like the others, the stronger characters, not that much, or at least at that degree that they can, he can, she can use their quirks. Even Himiko is kind of confused here because Himiko herself is saying, like, I thought, like, I, by now, I would have probably liked uh, Dabi or, uh, you know, Shigaraki to the degree that I can use their quirks. But that's not happening. I cannot. Just like how I can use Ochako and Twice's quirk, I cannot do it for them. Like, why? You know, it's like, all of those things I can understand. But then there was the last part where he, she kind of says that, like, I cannot become Dabi. That part, I'm not really sure because, you know, like... Like I said, she was talking about how she can use Darby's quirk. Uh, no, not Darby. What am I saying? Twice. Sorry. Scratch that. Uh, she cannot use twice as quirk. Uh, she, she cannot become twice. Wait, that's what she says, doesn't she? Yeah, I cannot become Jin. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's what she says. So I, I cannot become Jin. Yeah, why can I not become Jin? So, uh, like I said, I, I think those two are kind of different. The, 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 her using the work doesn't really mean she has become Jin. But I'm, I'm guessing that's what she's trying to say here. But, 
you know, that the last part kind of confused me a little bit. Either way, I think I'll probably get my answer in the next episode if they continue from here. Um, so, you know, we'll see. And yeah, that was today's episode. That was my reaction to episode 17 of My Hero Academia season 7. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, you haven't subscribed? Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. That is it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode. My Hero Academia. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.